welcome to my 1000 subscriber special. Huge thanks to all my subscribers. Without you, it would not be possible to do some stuff like this. So I'm really happy I've got the chance to do a full edit with you. And this will be the result we are doing today. So the first point, you need a track you want to edit with. I've got mine from Artlist. First you listen through your song and cut it to the length you want the video to have. In my example, 7 seconds should be enough because I don't have so many footage from the airplane. And once you cut your track, the next step is to set the markers. You go through your track and set the markers on the beat. Like so. You see, I've set the markers up here on the timeline and not down here on the track. That's very important because later we add it in the Fusion page and you only see the markers when you do it up here on the timeline and not on the track. Once you set all your markers, you can import your footage. A little bonus tip, when you press Option on your keyboard and drag your footage into the timeline, you only got your video line. So now the next step, you go through your footage and cut out only the scenes you want to have. So for example, this scene I want to start from here, all the way through, until I would say here. And like so, you do it with every clip you have, you need to pay attention that you're moving with the camera is as clean as possible. Now you see it's pretty smooth here and as soon as I start like wobbling around, I cut it out. Now you can see I go around and here it starts wobbling, so this gets out. And like so, I go through my whole timeline. Once you've done that, my next step is I go into the color page and do color grading. If it works better for you, you can do the color grading after the tracking. It doesn't matter if you do it before or after. It's really important that you do the color grading before we do the speed ramping because after the tracking we create a fusion clip out of this tracked and color graded clip and this clip needs to be color graded. So now you can open this clip in the Fusion page. With the first node selected, shift and spacebar, type in tracker. Now select a high contrast point. For me the best point is here in the center of the turbine because it's pretty much the center of the footage where I aimed at while filming. And down here you can see where you set the point. Adaptive mode on best match and hit tracker. With this window on the right, you can see the tracker does a really, really good job. In the free version, you have the point tracker, works very good as well. Once you've done tracking, go up here to operation, match move, background only. And like so, we have this stabilized robotic look on our footage. And now you see your clip doesn't fit anymore. We can avoid that by creating another node, shift spacebar and type in transform. Now you can adjust the size and maybe the position a little bit. Go through your footage and check if everything is okay. Looks pretty good to me. And this is how you track and stabilize your clip. Now do this with every clip, open it in the Fusion page, type in Tracker, High Contrast Point, Best Match, Track. And always have an eye on this right window here. And then you see the tracker moves around, just delete it, select another point and track it again. Operation, match move, background only, transform node, 
zoom in, adjust it, and you've got your next clip. So once you've finished all the tracking, create with every clip a new Fusion clip. That's very important because we save all the informations and the tracking we did in a new Fusion clip. When you want to open the old clip, you can right click on it and open it in timeline. And here you've got your clip um, like before. So now we can start speed ramping. First bring your clips in the order you want to have it. In my example, I want to start with this clip at first. So my order for example is I do this FPV shot backwards, then another FPV shot, another FPV, then an orbit shot, orbit shot, orbit, orbit, and another orbit. And I end with two FPV shots. So now, how do we start? listen to your track i would say here i do something like a flicker effect i would leave that clip above here and ignore it then we start with this one so from this marker to this marker i want to have the clip to start very fast go slow and fast again that the next clip starts also fast again, slow and fast. So we have here that seamless transition. Select this fusion clip and very important, be at the first frame. Open it in the fusion page. Shift spacebar, type in time stretcher. Press enter. And now we are on the first frame and you see it's already created a keyframe. Now you can see here the markers that we set. Go through your timeline to your next marker. It's here on frame 20. I want the clip to be finished at frame 20. You can see here frame 248 is the very last frame of the clip. So what we're gonna do is go up here to source time, type in 248 enter and now in these 20 frames the whole clip is sped up you can go back to the edit page and control it from here to here this is the full clip and after that it's only freeze frame because we have no frames left so that means you can cut your clip out here and bring the next so we go now back in the fusion page. Now the next step is to smoothen out your keyframes. With this button up here, you can open your splines down here. And now you can't see everything. Just press on this zoom to fit and you see it. Press command A to select everything and press S. Now you've got smoothen them out, but that's not the way we want it to have. We want the curve like so. So it starts very fast, goes slow and goes very fast again. Perfect. Next one, from this marker to this mark, we do exactly the same with this clip. Open it in the fusion page, time stretcher, press enter keyframe is set through your timeline to the next marker frame 121 type in one to one enter zoom to fit command a s same curve as before and that's the result of only two minutes of speed ramping. And now like so, you can go through your track and speed ramp as you're liking. 
So for this clip I've made this boomerang effect and for the next one I want to do the same. So it goes right and then back to the left. So the next clip here needs to start to go to the left and then back to the right. That's what I want. So I take my next clip here and as you see it goes to the right and I wanted to have it to go to the left. So what we can do here is go to the fusion start the same with time stretcher we don't want it to go to the right we want it to have it to go to the left so what we can do we need to start with the last frame so the clip is reversed so we type here in 152 press enter go to the last frame where the clip needs to end and set also here the keyframe so now what we have is just the last frame as long as we want to have the clip. And this from frame zero to frame 15. So the middle is somewhere around here, seven or eight, doesn't really matter. I pick frame eight and here we type in zero. So now we have this clip reversed. We started at the end, it goes to the left. This is the first frame and then we go back again. So like so we have reversed the clip so it matches with the other one. And here the same, command A, S, smooth the curves, cut the end out. Like so we have this matching cut so that it goes left, left again, stops and goes back to the right next clip goes to the right so that's perfect oh, don't forget to go to the first frame time stretcher and this one and let me check the music Uh, I want this just to end here. So last frame, one, three, four, one, three, four, enter. So to fit, make the same curve. And here it's, it's the same. When you want to have this clip in reverse, just pick the last frame, one, three, four, on this one, on, on frame zero from your clip. And at this position on frame 19, just pick clip zero. So like that, you can just reverse the clip. So a little tip here, when you filming this, you might notice every clip is from the left to the right. So that makes your life way easier in post-production because you don't need to change the clips very often. So every movement I do is from left to right. So it matches very well when I do it in the post. Maybe there's a way like you can save some presets from this. That would be cool. I haven't found a way how you can save this, but it would be really cool if you can make your curve perfect and save it as a preset. So you can just import the preset and you have every time the exact same curve. That would be nice. If any one of you knows a way how you can do it, let me know that would be very very cool i have an idea okay we need these frames here at the end so i just copy them here so i know it ends on this one so we need a marker at this cut and at the last one. So what I wanted to do is um, we go here in, then go in and from here out. And this clip from here to here is the beginning. So it creates like a loop. Um, so when you post it on social media, um, it creates automatically a loop when it starts again the same way. It's like a seamless transition from the end to the beginning of the clip. Um, so let's try this. We go V1, 
Distribution, Time Stretcher. And now we need to reverse the clip again because the clip before on the wheel goes out. No, it goes, it goes in, but this clip goes out. So we need to reverse this. So we take the last frame, 58, go further. Here is the first, and this will be the end of the clip, of the reel, if you want to say. And so. Smooth everything, like so, and delete the rest. So it should look like, yeah, perfect. Okay, I'm cutting this here. This goes back to the beginning. Can delete this one, this one. And now I wanna see the whole edit with a loop. Did you see that? When it ends, it starts the same way again. So and that's like how you do a full edit in DaVinci Resolve with speed ramping. Now you can add some sound effects like whooshes every time it changes. Maybe you can, I've, I've got some um, sound effects in my power bins here so that you have it in every every project you do if you want to have a one minute tutorial um how to do the power bins and for what they are just let me know in the comments and i will do a tutorial for you just drag it in like here so now we can add some sound effects some other effects like masking out this turbine and then it spins I don't go further into details in this video because I think it's way too long then. But uh, let me know if you want to see how I do some effects. But I think that's a pretty good result for this like 25 minutes we are editing. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Once again, huge thanks to all of you and I hope you enjoyed. See you in the next one. Bye bye.